Hey, how's it going, everyone? How are you guys doing tonight? Today, where are you from in this beautiful world? Um, yeah, so uh, I got a beer for here from Beer Hounds with an exclamation mark, Beer Hounds Beer Reviews. Uh, go check them out in my description. Thank you, Beer Man. Thank you, brother, from another mother. Um, so this one is Stone's uh, Ru Ruination IPA. At 8.2%, that's what it clocks in at, and their ABV, alcohol by volume, ruination. People have mixed feelings about stone, but some of the stuff I've gotten from them have been pretty, pretty darn tasty, especially on the west side of life, uh, the, uh, the west coast uh, style IPAs and stuff like this is, I'm sure, yeah, I think it is actually, uh, yeah, it is, it is actually. Uh, so it's double IPA at 8.2%, which is totally that. Um, I'm not going to really go into detail, but if you want to, like, halt it, and if you can even read it, it's on gold, so it's really hard. A lot of stuff. It is a West Coast double IPA. Uh, these guys are out of uh, San Diego, actually, Richmond, Virginia, and Escondido, California. All right, and this was canned, uh, packaged 111.24. So it's like a month and a half old or so. It was just cool because I've been drinking on a one and a half year old or year old month old uh, hazy from Fort George and it's still very nice. So they're from my local comp or local company just over the bridge. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what this uh, has for us. I didn't polish the glass. I just kind of rinsed it out. I scrubbed it with a brush, but that's about it. I'm gonna stop there because I need some uh, some play for my nose. There's the can. Hey man, where are you? Okay, uh, so you can see. Dirty glass, there we go, perfect. Man, this looks almost just ex identical to the one I just brewed for beer, uh, for beer, uh, beer, for Mr. Bill. Yeah, it's like, it's got that uh, copper or a light honey, light kind of like honey looking, light copper kind of color. Um, it's got an off-white head, almost yellowed to some degree. Kind of fluffy on the top, a little sizzly and silky on the sides, oily. Got some uh, pretty good effervescence. You can see through it, it's not opaque. See my face. <laughs> a little bit of a chill haze. This is about probably 50 degrees right now. I think my, well, my cooler's set for 38. This is probably more like 42 or something then, because I just pulled it out. Because it's been out for at least five, eight minutes or so. But, um, nice head retention. Poured about a finger and a half, close to two fingers. Um, holding up pretty well with the uh, retention there. But let's go ahead and uh, go into the nose. I get uh, a little bit of honey, lemon. In the can, it smells better. It's more hoppier. Resin is hoppy. Out of the glass, it smelled like it was a little oxidized. Damn it. It's not your fault, Bill. But out of the can, it smells more, smells fresher. I'm getting a really nice dank kind of westy, piney, danky, um, cannabis-y kind of a, um, approach. A little bit of honey and uh, citrus orange. And then out of the glass, it poured more of that tea, kind of a teed off gray tea, Earl Grey tea with lemon and honey. A little soapy. Let's drink it. Cheers. All right. Does not smell. It does not taste the way it smelled. It's got that classic bitter, not real classic dry, bitter, um, piney finish. Not too boozy, but you know it's it's got a viscosity. It's kind of a full medium. Uh, body and um, 
it's got, I mean, it's only 8.2, but still that's pretty, has the potential to get pretty viscous depending on uh, temperatures of mashing and all that stuff, green and however you want to say it. But the, the bitter is like really clenching onto my tonsils and my cheeks and the back of my tongue. Well, it's, it's like finishes almost like it's unbalanced in a way, like it's like so bitter and you're trying to get that sweet still, but it's like, ah, it's so bitter. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's West Coast, you know, and I, I, you know, honestly, this is like your traditional West Coast. And uh, it's cool because it, it's kind of, it, it seems a little too much, to be honest. I wish it was a little more balanced where I'm tasting a little more sweetness, you know what I mean? Where it's not so like crazy tight gripping on the bitterness. But um, the flavors are spot on. Caramel, caramel's coming through real nice. The caramel sweetness, a little breadiness. Not a little, a lot of breadiness. Um, but that hot bitterness really like scratches the throat. It's almost, it's so astringent like in a way. Um, wow. I mean, that is, if you look, I mean, honestly, yeah, most of y'all know that have had a lot of Westies in your life know that some of them can get this uh, level of, uh, of bitterness, which is honestly fine, I think, at the higher level. Um, but it's, wow, is it, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> I do get that orange. You get orange and like a little bit of like slight peach uh, fruit, uh, dried fruit. Um, it's like, it's like the acidic burny bitterness is like pinching my backs of my cheek together <laughs> and the back of my tongue. <laughs> um, I would say this is a, this is a good beer. This is a good beer. Um, I would, I would go, if you were, if you were to give it a, a score, I'd probably go like uh, 80, 82 out of a hundred. Um, I, I, I think the, I think the balance could be a little better. Um, I think it's a little too bitter for my taste anyway. It's just my opinion. Um, I don't, I've had this before and I don't re ever remember having it. So it's kind of nice to revisit and I do seriously appreciate this bill. Um, much, much appreciated bro. And thank you very much. I just didn't realize how bitter it was. Wow. Um, I'm trying to, I, I do, I do understand West Coast IPAs, I get it, but it's just, it was, yeah, it just had kind of that crazy, like, astringent, or like, kind of weird, biting kind of bitterness. I'm not going to rub it in anymore, but it definitely is drinkable, still, and worth a try, so, um, right on, thank you, man. You guys have a good night, day where you're from this beautiful world, now after one more sip. Hey. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's actually, I do have something to say, though. It did, as it warms up, it got a little better. So I could boost that up. Let's boost the score. If you're watching this to the end, I would boost this up from an 82 to like an 85. 85 out of 100. There you go. Cheers.